guys, it's Vic, and this is an all-inclusive video meant to teach you about the ins and outs of Fun Day Fest, letting you enjoy the event to the max. All the rules of the fest will be explained below, letting this video serve as a standalone informative guide on how to play in Fun Day Fest. If someone ever asks you how to participate, this is the video to share with them. But, you know, you might be asking... <laughs> What is the Fun Day Fest? Fun Day Fest is a monthly custom Splatfest event designed to continue the tradition of Splatfests after the conclusion of Splatoon 2's updates. The name Fun Day Fest comes from my Splatoon 2 weekend streams called Sunday Fun Day and combines it with the Splatfest. If you are new to Splatoon 2 and never played in a Splatfest, they were monthly events in which you could choose between two teams and compete in turf war battles. They had themes about animals, such as cats versus dogs, themes that got serious, like squid versus octopus, and even some that were quite silly. And you know what? Here at Fun Day Fest, we do the same thing. And to make it feel like a real Splatfest, we have event assets made by our friend Jamie, who is credited in the description. She's the one who brought the event to life and is the backbone of the organization for the events. But a Fun Day Fest surely needs more than two people. So, you may ask, how do you play? The goal for Fun Day Fest is to make it as simple and accessible to anybody who is able to play Splatoon 2, but in return, it requires some extra steps. To participate, you must fill out the voting form. I'll give more detail on that in just a bit. Basically, it is the only way for your vote to count. You must put in your team tag after voting. This is a letter you put on your Switch in-game name so lobby hosts and streamers can put you on the right team without any kind of forms or any kind of communication. For example, if my in-game name is Vicvion, which uh, I, I hope it is, <laughs> and I'm on Team Rats, I want to put an R in my name somewhere, so I'd be a Vicvion R, or maybe I'd be a Vic Rion. No matter how I choose to do it, all I need is an R in my name that's so when somebody makes a stream or somebody makes a room, it's easy to tell what team I'm on. To do this, just go to your profile on your Nintendo Switch, click on your name, fit the letter of your team into your name, confirm, and reset your game. It's an extremely quick fix, and it does wonders to the Fun Day Fest experience. Remember, this is a requirement and not an option, especially if you want to play for your team. We'll always have the team tags displayed on stream, so it's easy peasy to find. But not everyone wants to play on stream, so there are multiple ways to play. First of all, you can gather up some of your friends, reach out to people on the friend code list, and do private battles off stream. Or you can check the stream schedule, pop into a stream when you want to play, and join some matches. If you're more of a Discord kind of kid or squid, you can head over to the Fun Day Fest section of my Discord server. This makes playing with others off stream much easier. And of course, maybe you're one of those people who actually, you know, wants to run a stream. You can stream the matches yourself. When you're done playing, we ask that you submit screenshots or URLs to the matches you played in. And that's really it. Next, I'll be going into more detail on the different forums that you should know about. Google Forums and Google Sheets are integral to our events and vital to the score calculations. Here are some you should know about. First of all, there's the voting form. The voting form should be the first course of action if you want your vote to count. First, it will ask you to put in your vote, and you'll have to agree to add your team tag to your name. Lastly, you'll be asked if you want to add your name to the friend code list. The friend code list is an optional section in the voting form that allows you to add some basic information on a public list. That way, people can find you and play with you. This includes your in-game name, your friend code, an optional social media or channel, and a quick checklist. If you think you need people to play with, you can always resort to this to find people a little bit faster. The link to this list will be given to you after you submit your vote. But the link to the list will also be available on stream and in the Discord server. Streamers and lobby hosts will also be at the very top of the list, so they are easy to find. This list is also cleared after every event, so information won't be permanent or collected. If you're a streamer, you can also apply to be an official streamer for Fun Day Fest as part of our schedule. This form asks you for some very basic channel information, like your channel name, contact info, and your most recent Splatoon 2 stream as well as the times you're available to stream and the team you'd like to be on. Make sure you're also in the Discord server, a plug a plug, because all of our streamers' discussion goes on in there. 
If you're accepted, we'll assign a couple of spicy rolls to you, and you'll get some pings on a channel that tells you everything you need to know about streaming for Fun Day Fest. So if you're ever interested, head on over to the stream application form when it's open. Remember, not being accepted to be a part of the schedule doesn't mean you can't stream the Fun Day Fest. It just means that your matches will count as regular submitted matches. But what the heck is a submitted match? After playing or streaming, you must submit your matches so they can be added to the score. The form asks you if you want to submit a screenshot or a video URL. Obviously, a URL is better for a streamer. In general, all match proof must, number one, show as either a 4v4 or a 3v3, number two, show that most of the players have team tags, and number three, show that all players have consistent effort. What we mean by that is simple. Just make sure that nobody was sitting out or trying to throw the match. If somebody was playing in the match and they have, you know, like a hundred points painted and they died 14 times, chances are they may not have been playing very seriously. And we want to make sure that all of our matches are fair and even. Submitting matches also has an hour grace period for anyone who happens to play matches until the very end of the fest. So if you happen to wake up and the fest is over soon, you can still submit a match even if it goes past the end time by about an hour. Official streamers will have a separate form link to send their streams to, and it will be provided to you when the time comes. It's highly recommended you take a look at these forms for yourself while they're open, since there might be more information that might not be included in this video. And starting this year, there will be another way to earn points, but it'll be pretty random. Each month, a special secret stage related to the theme will be worth more points. These stages will be revealed after Fun Day Fest is over, so place your bets carefully, my friends. If you're interested in knowing everything that's going on, the best way to do that, though, is going to be through the Discord server. By joining the Discord server, you have a much better access to these necessary resources. So if you haven't joined our community, here is a rundown of what the Fun Day Fest section has in store for you. To access the section's channels, you'll need to head on over to hashtag readmefirst, which shows all the info I'm explaining to you now, as well as updates and information on the upcoming Fun Day Fest. After there's been an announcement, you can react to the most recent message and gain a team role. Only players with roles will be notified about various things, such as announcements, and when streamers go live. These roles are also pingable, so you can recruit your teammates. Also note that some channels will only be open when a Fun Day Fest is active. Section info shows information on the channels, similar to what I'm explaining right now, but in more detail. There will also be a list of all the forms for easier access. Sparkleshot News is where you can read the latest dialogue from our official idols, Guppy and Gil of Sparkleshot. They might even help you figure out which team you should go on. Fun Day FAQ is for asking questions about Fun Day Fest. Need help with something? Feel free to ask, and anyone is allowed to hop on in and answer a question. Fun Day General is exclusively general conversation for the Fest participants. You can talk about result predictions, root for your team, anything really. Maybe you want to tell somebody that you just, you just really like pancakes more than waffles. Feel free. Nobody can stop you there. Fun Day Fan Art is going to be where you can share your Fun Day Fest related fan art, and that includes plaza posts, Art of the Idols, you and your friends in Splatfest tees, and more. Keep it all in one place so you can look at it whenever you want. And in match chat is where you can ping the team roles and lobby host roles, arrange matches, and more. There is also a voice chat that anyone can join. This is subject to change as the events continue to go on, so check out the server to see what's new. There might even be a bot in the future to automate some of this, and I will keep you up to date with that, of course, in the Discord. Uh, well, with all this talking about the stream, and the event, and how things work, how do you play in the stream? Well, the stream schedule will be revealed on all platforms when the event starts. More often than not, Fun Day Fest will begin at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, and will end at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on either the following Sunday or Monday, depending on the occasion. Most Fun Day Fests are 24 hours, but some of them are 48. The plan is always to have multiple streams each day. If you check my Twitter or my Discord server regularly, you will always be in the loop with who is live for Fun Day Fest matches. Remember, during these streams, to save time, you have to put in a team tag. With most of the rules being at the individual streamer's discretion, I do ask that you respect the rules as well. Creators are chosen because they have a lot of potential and they deserve the support. Here's a little secret, by the way. Smaller streamers will likely allow more rejoins. 
So if you want in more easy and quick matches, visit them while they're live. Some of our bigger streamers might even have 3x battles, which are personally chosen by myself, the streamer, or just a random number generator. You can rack up a lot of points for your team by playing in these stream matches. So I wish you the best of luck if you come across one of them. But you might ask, after all this, how do you determine who wins? Fun Day Fests will always end the following morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless said otherwise. In official Splatfests, the winning team would be determined by popularity and two calculations of clout. So that's been followed here. For Fun Day Fest, it's similar, but it's a little different at the same time. The winning team will be based on the best percentages in popularity, stream wins, and total clout. Total clout is a special calculation where stream wins are worth two points and submitted wins are worth five points. This way, stream matches are slightly weighted towards two categories and it varies on the number of submissions. Obviously, the more games you play off a stream, the less weighting the stream matches will have. Whichever team has the higher percentage in two or more categories wins the Fun Day Fest. Oh wait, <laughs> you thought I was done? No, 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 no. There are a few more extra features that I'd like to share first. Remember Fun Day fan art? If you'd like to submit a plaza post, as long as we are running the Fun Day Fest, there is going to be a special form dedicated to collecting image data just from you. Just submit an image of any Fun Day Fest themed plaza post to our plaza posts form, and you've done it. You can save your image to your post through a tweet or save it to your Switch's SD card and then upload it onto your computer. They'll be part of a large project down the line, and you'll be sharing your Fun Day Fest experience with everyone in the plaza. Feedback is also super duper appreciated. After every Fun Day Fest, there'll be a feedback form for you to use to let us know on what you thought of the event. It's appreciated, and your feedback will allow us to make the events even better in the future. As important as it is for these events to be successful, I wanna make sure that you the viewer are enjoying yourself, so please, if you have any suggestions, don't be afraid to use the feedback form as a way of directly improving the event. If there are any questions about the information I've mentioned, please, please, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. Thank you for listening to this, and I hope you enjoy future Fun Day Fests.